desert delivery. This day, it is easy for most of us to get a hold of the latest books or magazines. We can go to bookstore, order them through the internet, or borrow them from the local library. Now imagine having to walk miles and miles through a hot sandy desert just to borrow a book. This is a reality for people living in the vi- in the villages of the Garissa region of Kenya in East Africa. In 1996, librarian Wildlife All Walks is to spend its day waiting for people to come to borrow some of the 24,000 books in his library in Garissa. The library had no shortage of books, but people would, weren't come to read them. It was too much effort to walk through the desert just to borrow books. Oliver racked his brain for ways to entice people into the library. After a lot of talk, he hit upon a great idea. If people wouldn't come to the library, then he would have to take the library to them. Oliver trapped boxes of books onto the backs of camels and created the mobile camera library, starting with three camels in 1996, but more recently expanding the service to six camels. The Mumbai Camel Library serves over 1 million people. Twice a month, the Camel Library can be seen carrying books all around the Garissa region. The hard-working animals need little water and can carry up to 500 pounds of books across the sands. A librarian, a library assistant, a herdsman, and a lookout on travel with the camels. The lookout has protected the books from thieves. The children of Garissa love the camel library and appreciate all the works at front. Eleven years old, Muhammad Muhammad reads his library books carefully and always returns them on time. He knows the Garissa Library punishes people for losing books, just like any other library. However, the punishment is very stiff compared to that of other libraries. If a village loses the book, the Camel Library stops visiting.